Few facts about Nautilus. Nautiluses are ancient cephalopods that have existed for around 500 million years, making them one of the oldest living cephalopod species. Nautiluses have a distinctive spiral shell divided into numerous chambers. The animal occupies the largest chamber, while the smaller chambers contain gas, providing buoyancy for controlled vertical movement in the water column. Nautiluses use jet propulsion for movement, expelling water from a siphon to propel themselves forward. The chambered or pearly nautilus is a cephalopod, a type of mollusk, a distant cousin to squids, octopi, and cuttlefish. Unlike its color-changing cousins, though, the soft-bodied nautilus lives inside its hard external shell. The shell itself has many closed interior chambers or compartments. The nautilus' natural predators include octopus, sharks, triggerfish, and grouper. The chambered nautilus primarily lives on or near reefs in the western Pacific Ocean and in parts of the coastal Indian Ocean, including near National Marine Sanctuary of American Samoa and Rose at Hall Marine National Monument. The nautilus brain is surprisingly complex, it can be trained, and it has good short and long-term memory. The nautilus has up to 40 dedicated, obvious lobes in its brain. The soft-bodied nautilus lives inside a hard, chambered shell. It uses the chambers to pump air and water in and out of its shell, creating jet propulsion to thrust itself backwards and to make turns. They possess a siphon tube, known as a hyponym, which runs the length of the shell. Nautiluses are often found in deep-sea environments, although they can also inhabit shallow waters near coral reefs. Nautiluses are typically hermaphroditic, meaning individuals have both male and female reproductive organs. They transfer sperm packets to each other during mating. The female nautilus attaches strings of eggs to the inner wall of the shell, where they remain until hatching. After hatching, the young are miniature versions of adults. Nautiluses are sensitive to light, and sudden exposure to bright light can cause them stress. They prefer dimly lit environments. Nautiluses are carnivorous and feed on crustaceans, small fish, and carrion. They use their tentacles to grasp prey and bring it to their beak for consumption. By adjusting the gas to water ratio in the chambers of their shells, nautiluses can control their buoyancy and maintain a specific depth in the water column. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel.